So here, the Computex 2014, uh, you're launching A33. Yep, yep. So this is uh, the first time that we've actually publicly uh, said much about the A33. So it's the step up from the A23 chip, which has been really popular as kind of the lower cost entry level uh, dual core chip. So it's a P2P, it's pin to pin compatible with A23. Yep, yep. So that means customers can take existing designs that were originally based on the A23 and just move them right up uh, to, to the quad core A33. That means the PCB is the same or you still need to change some things? Yep, use the same PCB. Exactly the same. All the, other, all the connectors to the RAM and the or power, all that stuff that yep, happens. Yep, it's pin to pin. Yep. Exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but but then what ha what changes? The software or how do, uh, you need to? I mean, the software is different. Yeah, it'll be a different uh, uh, for for our customers. It's a different SDK, so the software is a bit uh, a bit different. But it's a pretty similar. the 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 speed to market of this chip is going to be pretty fast because it's similar to to the A twenty three. It just has uh, an upgraded. Has two more cores, so it's quad core uh, Cortex A seven. Also has an upgraded uh, DRAM controller, so a faster DDR performance. Um, so it's a uh, you know we're 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 very positive about about getting this into the market very quickly. So it says here uh, DDR uh, DDR six hundred and sixty seven megahertz. Is that different from the A twenty three? It's a it's a bit of a it's a it's a bit of an upgrade. Um, specifically, uh, over it really depends on what A twenty three. What A23 solutions you're looking at, but it's 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 faster than uh, the previous generation A23. So we're talking about uh, the most cost-efficient 4G tablet solution, also. Yep, yep. So I mean, where we see this really being is the uh, basically the the lowest cost, best best choice for entry-level uh, Wi-Fi only tablets. Uh, so we definitely see kind of in the seven inch to, to eight inch in that realm, like this really being the best solution for kind of low cost low cost tablets for uh, for 2014 also into 2015 as well. So that means no more single, no more dual core, that's it? People just go quad minimum? Oh yeah, well if you look at if, if you look at this year uh, and kind of towards the end of last year as well, um, you had the A23 come out, which the A23 is a really low cost dual core solution that had really good performance compared to com competition. It really brought a lot of volume into dual core. So we see what, what, hap what, we, what we see happening with A33 is kind of taking uh, you know the the entry level lower part of the market, moving it up to uh, you know moving up to quad core. And uh, so it's a Mali GPU. Yep, uh, Mali 400 MP2. Uh, we've also integrated the audio codec on the chip, so that means the the overall cost of the solution is cheaper. Uh, we've also got the uh, MIPI display interface integrated on the chip, so that means you know you don't have to add, add an extra chip on board to support the uh, 7.85 inch uh, LCD or 7.95 uh, 7.9 inch LCD. So it's actually cheaper. Yeah. So it's cheaper than the A twenty three. Oh, it's not cheaper. The uh, uh, the the solution costs. You'll probably have to see uh, what what comes out downstream from us. But we see it being a uh, you know very cost competitive. Uh, like the price the price difference between the A twenty three. I'm not uh, I'm not able to say right now. But uh, I would expect we'll be able to talk more about it really really soon. I mean, most people can talk to their. You know, we've already started. Uh, talking to our partners about this, so I mean, any people, any anyone that's in the industry right now, they can probably talk to their suppliers and and get an idea of, of the costing. So Mali 400 MP2 is it exactly the same GPU as yeah, uh, yeah. A23. Yeah, it's H not faster anyway, or something different, megahertz or? Oh, uh, it's the same. It's the same GPU. I mean, at this point, we're not we're not saying what the frequency of the of the GPU is, but the uh, the core IP is still is still there. All right, so uh, this it says right here available now uh, in June. And there's actually uh, uh, Yifang is showing right here uh, 4.4 Android uh, quad core 833 7.85 inch 1024, and it's right here. So it's actually mm -hmm. a real a real sample. Yep, yep, yep. So this is already running the A33. This is an initial prototype that we're uh, that we're working on right now with with some lead partners. All right, so that means it's like really available, just about to be available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we see mass production for this happening, uh, happening relatively soon. Uh, like exactly in which month, it's difficult to say right now because it really depends on uh, you know the orders from from the factory and who's who's coming to market with it. So um, you know we see it we see it coming into market you know relatively soon. Is it cheaper than A thirty one or A thirty one S, or you cannot say? Uh, we would probably see, yeah, we would see the solution coming, uh, coming a bit lower than that because uh, A thirty three and A thirty one S, A thirty one, they're different market segments. So A thirty three, it's really positioned for kind of, 
you know, the entry level Wi-Fi only tablet, uh, where A31, A31S, you have a stronger GPU on there. It's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of mid-range performance and, and low cost. Where, it, where this is really entry level performance and, and entry level. So they both uh, quad core A, a Cortex A7, mm -hmm. uh, same frequency, or as the A31s or A31, or is it the? Uh, uh, how about how about the, the the main difference between those two is just the GPU, right? Or is that what you would say? GPU GPU difference is also uh, differences in the, in the DRAM control. I mean, it's a it's a different chip, so. Uh, uh, yeah, the the CPU frequency like we haven't we haven't published what that'll uh, what that'll ultimately be at. There's some reference numbers, but um, all right, so different 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 segments different segments for the chips. And it's 4.4 Android on shipping, right there, mm -hmm. and good support with that. Yeah, you've yeah. been good at updating. Yeah, 4.4. I mean, 4.4.2, uh, 4.4.3 has just been announced recently, but we're still kind of looking at that. There's just been some some minor bug fixes that that, that Google did. But yeah, we're generally, you know, one of the fastest uh, to market with new releases as, as a vendor.